Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome to my review of this cancerous piece of mushroom shit called Fantastic Four. This is the 1994 cheesy arsewipe that somehow was greenlit by the studios. How could they approve this shitty thing? <sighs> the plot, such as there is one, um, is of course again uh, Reed Richards and Victor Von Reed Richards and Victor Von Doom are working on this project, science project, to study cosmic rays. But Victor dies in a tragic accident in the lab. Uh, a year later, Reed calls upon his friend Ben and uh, also s the love of his life, Sue Storm, and her brother, Johnny Storm. And together, the four of them go up into space to carry out the expedition. And they come back with... They have been attacked by these cosmic rays and they come back with these powers and... Yeah, you know, you know the drill. They are the Fantastic Four, and we find out that you know, spoiler alert, Victor isn't dead. He returns as Doctor Doom, and they have to fight him. And that is it. That is the plot of this shitty movie. I'm not going to spare any expense for this. What fucking hobo decided that this would be? the best way to direct the film. Whoever directed this film is an absolute shithead because they have no idea how films work. This movie is a cheese fest. It is literally the producers sticking their fingers up their asses saying, hey look, Fantastic Four! <laughs> Give me a fucking break. What do we have to do? to get a good Fantastic Four movie. <sighs> Why can't they get it right? Why can't they get it fucking right? The best Fantastic Four movie that we have is the 2005 one. And even that one isn't brilliant. <sighs> For fuck's sake. <sighs> the movie is appalling. It is appalling. I'm lost for words. It is literally the cheesiest, arsiest, <laughs> cancerous film I've ever watched. It is an absolute bore fest. The movie clocks in at 91 minutes. And it is slow as a fucking snail. It felt like it was over two hours. It felt so fucking long. And it's, ugh, the pacing is awful. Nothing happens for a lot of the movie. I think this is actually worse... The pacing is worse here than in the reboot, and then in the 2015 reboot. Ugh. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the cast. I don't know their names, but yeah, they make the four, the four of them, the main four. You know, Reed, Sue, Ben, and Johnny. They're crap. All of them. They're crap. It doesn't help that the direction is so fucking cheesy that you know every time they say things, it makes me want to throw my my laptop around because I watched this on the internet. It doesn't help that the lines are so injected with such atrocious, atrocious delivery and atrociously written script. It makes no fucking sense as well. We there is no tension between the characters. There is no character development. We get zero effort like into any of these characters. They are all the byproduct of the comics. They've basically tried to literally just copy the comic book and it's, oh look it's like a moving comic book. It, it's, oh, it's so da fucking damn cheesy. And the way they bring back Doctor Doom is fucking ridiculous. I mean it was pretty bad in the reboot but in this movie oh my god they they have him like they have dark. They have the shots of him like when it's all dark, and then they only show me like his eyes. Like, and he's got this really generic villain voice. He's talking like a generic villain. 
He looks like he's struggling to sit on the toilet properly. He's wiping his ass with this shitty script. <laughs> that is literally it. And, you know, woohoo, surprise at the end, he's Victor, you know. Yeah, well, well, well done, you know. It wasn't exactly a mystery to the audience, you know. <sighs> I suppose then again it's better than, you know... I mean, but we all know that Victor Von Doom is Doctor Doom, so there's no point even trying to, you know, bring in that kind of mystery element, because it's completely redundant, like the most of this movie. Why the fuck was Alicia Masters in this movie? I don't know the actress's name. The actress was good. She was the best part in it, actually. Uh, the girl that played Alicia was good. Um, but the way they use her, this random professor guy with this eye thing, like, Ooh, really creepy guy, he, he comes in, basically. He's not part of the main story, he's just there. And he comes in and captures Alicia so she can be his queen. What the fuck? Uh, what, what? Is this some kind of medieval fantasy? Is this the king's demons? Is this, is this like... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. It's like fucking Aladdin when Jafar just tried to force Jasmine to be his queen. This is so bad. I even dress her up like a queen. This isn't even a pantomime. It is worse. It is worse. It is so much worse. Oh, and the fucking love story as well between Reed and Sue. It's... 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 Oh, I mean, it's not the main focus of the film, but it is pretty bad. It's on par with the Attack of the Clones love story. It is cringy to watch. And the ending, like when, when she says to him, you know, the only reason why I came on this trip was because I love you, Reed. Well, well done, well done, writers. You know, that's great use of a character. That's great development of a character. <sighs> and the end of the movie when they have their wedding and then he's waving his hand, like, stretched... At the, the top, it's like one thing that is disgusting as fuck, and two, out of all the things you have to end the movie on, why that? They completely destroyed the thing. The thing that was completely, you know, bitch slapped this entire film. Literally, the way they used this character was stupid. Like how he could transform from human to rock, and then, you know, the whole thing with Alicia is. It's stupid how, you know, the Ben and Alicia love story. The two characters glanced across each other once or twice. She has, is now seeing him as a rock. Before when she met him, he wasn't like that. He was human. Now he's not like that. And for some bizarre reason, which I cannot fathom, she suddenly falls in love with him. My goodness. How many rocks have you been in a relationship with? Have you been in, like, have you been married to, like, four or five different rocks? The personalities, you know, would be completely the same. So she's attracted to rocks. I'm starting to find this a little bit disgusting now. I mean, just, there's some really weird side villains, like this professor guy and this hen these henchmen who are who try to empathise with Ben and... Oh my god. The acting is atrocious from everyone. Apart from Alicia, she's okay. Uh, um... And Johnny... As for Johnny... Johnny's okay, I guess. He's not awful to watch, but... Uh, mm, he's not great. Everything about this movie sucks. It really does. It is a cancerous orgy of dripping... Rocks. <laughs> it's like, um, it's like, you know, when you go on holiday and you go to the seaside and, or you go and, yeah, yeah, and then you see the, um, the cliffs eroding away. That is what this film is like. Everything starts out and then erodes away, slowly falls apart. Literally, after the opening titles, bam, starts to fall apart instantly. No character development whatsoever. The music isn't even that good. The music is pure cheese. doesn't fit with the movie. Um, like I said in the previous reviews, I'm okay with the lighter tone. I'm okay with that. But 
when you transplant it to this, I mean, I, I thought the Tim Story movies were pretty cheesy and over the top. But this is a fucking mind meld. I mean, the director has no vision whatsoever. This is a big, big, big mess. This is such a mess. I mean, this will only appeal to kids who don't really care. Well, actually, it won't, because the movie's fucking boring. Nothing happens. A lot of times. The space stuff is terribly handled. Like, the scene when they get their powers is... It's so, so abrupt. It's just done really quickly. I, this movie... This movie is a squat in the toilet. It is a cancerous... Orgy. It is... A dripping... You know... It is like... It is like... When you have a urine infection. And it stings. It fucking... Stings... As hell. And... I could not believe it after I watched it. I knew it was going to be bad because of all the reviews, but I, th I don't think that the reboot is as bad as this. The reboot is better than this. And bearing in mind what I thought of the reboot, it doesn't look good. say is wow <laughs> um yes don't see this movie do not see this movie if you haven't seen it if you have seen it I feel the pain I genuinely feel the pain and I'm not making much effort in this review because fuck it the movie doesn't make much effort so therefore, why should I? But, in all seriousness, it is actually a pile of crap. Bigger than, more so than the other three, you know, movies that we've had of Fantastic Four. Maybe the Fantastic Four are just cursed. Nobody can seem to get it right. If I was the director for Fantastic Four, I would make some fucking major modifications. Because what we've seen so far is not good. And, you know what, just, you know, throw in the towel and give the rights back to fucking Marvel, because, you know, they'll actually be able to do something with it. Bring Fantastic Four into the MCU if you're going to do anything. Otherwise, just fuck off, really. Just fuck off, you know, because, you know, I, I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this disgusting, you know, cheesy... Oh, oh, God. It's probably because I had to sit through the other three as well that I'm so annoyed. It is literally stuck in my head. I can't forget this film. Even the production design is lazy. Even the production design is lazy. You know, the action is crap also. There's one, like, there's a couple of scruffs here and there, like, like, the, and Doom's death is awful, like, when he falls off, and then, and then Reed is, you know, then he's like, we were friends once, Reed, help me up, and then Reed reaches down, and then, and then he obviously, he, he's lying about it, like, you know, how, how dumb are you, you wouldn't, this, you know, Reed Richards is supposed to be one of the smartest, um, Marvel superheroes, yet, he has the, the naivety, to do that, and just not, pull up Victor, ugh, and then, you know, when he trips over. Uh, and also when they come back to Earth. Um, even they mention it. Not a scratch after the wreckage. Not a scratch. They get their powers, but not a scratch. And Johnny sneezes and, um, yeah. I mean, there's a... Oh, God. I just... I, I don't know, really. I mean, I don't even know if I want to carry on speaking about it. Because, quite frankly... 
you know, ugh. and you know, in conclusion, the 1994 Fantastic Four film is one of the worst films I've ever seen. I Sorry about that. So, in the end, <laughs> oh, sorry, I've got to keep a straight face. <laughs> it is, um, it is worthy of, yep, yeah, you guessed it, zero out of ten. <laughs> like about the movie? Nothing. Not even the credits. I didn't even like the credits. Well, I turned off when the credits immediately began. Oh, don't watch this movie. Whatever you do, do not watch this movie. It is by far the worst Fantastic Four film. No, that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that nobody on the production team, the cast or the crew, actually gave a shit about the source material. They were like, fuck it, let's just make a campy fuckfest and have a rave, like Batman and Robin. It is on par with Batman and Robin. I don't know if it's as bad as that, because Batman and Robin's a longer film, but it is so... It is on par. It is on that same level. It's almost like <laughs> Joel Schumacher took inspiration from the 1994 Fantastic Four film for his Batman movies. Was this to be a trend of the 90s, that superhero movies were just going to get more campy? You know, what happened to the great darkness that Tim Burton did set out to do in his Bat Batman films? But, anyway, Fantastic Four is shit. Yep, 0 out of 10. Sticking to that. So, yeah, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. So, yeah, what do you think of this version of Fantastic Four? Comment down below, let me know. And if you like this film, do let me know why. I'd love to, see, uh, love to hear your opinions. I'd love to compare and contrast. But as for the Fantastic Four movies, yeah, they've all been pretty disappointing, to be honest. I mean, I kind of have a soft spot for the 2005 one. I, I, I quite like it. I mean, it's all right. It's a bit of fun, you know. There are things that they do rather well, but there are some problems, uh, and those do remain apparent. Um, however, every film after that and this one, is shit. <laughs> Rise of the Silver Surfer was bad. The reboot was bad. But this movie is a fucking disgrace. It's one of the worst films I've ever seen. I knew it was going to be bad, but... <sighs> yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. I've got to be... got to start my primeval reviews again. Um, but there we go. Thanks all for watching, and as always, I'm Mr. Tardis11. See ya.